a picture is worth thousands of words, but the video much more than that. I have improved my app's onboarding by replacing the traditional static image with a smooth video. I'm gonna show you how to level up your UX and drive more conversions with a smooth, well-designed onboarding flow. So before I actually show you how to build and create this kind of a smooth video animations, I wanna show you a library that I'm using currently in my Compose multi-platform project to implement a media player in my Android and iOS app. So let's go into our code for a moment. This is my uh, pager view, which I'm using uh, in the onboarding flow. I'm using actually one library, which is called uh, Compose Multiplatform Media Player. It's uh, already available for uh, Android uh, and iOS, so you don't have to worry about it. I'm uh, using it uh, in my production app here as well. So there is uh, one special composable function called uh, Video Player Composable, right? And to this composable function, we are passing our uh, video URL. So the video URL is just a string which points to my uh, video that uh, I have already uploaded on the Firebase storage. But you can upload your video anywhere you want. So after we create this uh, player host uh, state with the media uh, URL, we can just uh, pass it down below to our Video Player Composable. Also, I have added the configurations to uh, hide those controls and disable pause and resume options as well. So that's how you can play a video into your uh, Composer multi-platform app for both uh, Android and iOS. But now we come to the question, how can we actually record this uh, buttery smooth video for our project? Well, for that purpose, I'm using one special software, uh, recording software called Screen Studio. I will be sure to put that link uh, of that software in the first comment of this uh, uh, video. So I'm now gonna open that up. And you will see that here we have uh, some kind of a uh, bar down below that we can choose to record our own uh, device. So this uh, actual software works only with the iPhones, right? So this is how it's going to work. You need to connect your iOS device with your MacBook by uh, USB-C cable, right? And after you do that, you're going to select this device option from down below. And then from there, select your device. So after you have connected your uh, device uh, with a USB cable uh, with your MacBook, then from here we're going to choose our own device, right? So in this case, that's it. And I'm going to click here this uh, button that says uh, start recording. So after you finish recording uh, your uh, iPhone device, you're going to see here a window where you can click the edit button to edit this uh, actual video, right? So from there, first we can choose uh, the vertical orientation so that we can uh, adapt uh, our uh, screen recording to a uh, smartphone size. And from here, we can uh, edit our video. It's just a short video uh, showcasing one of my uh, apps, right? Anyhow, I'm gonna here uh, cut this video so I can hold down the option key, click and cut this apart, right? So I'm now checking out to see how this video looks like. Uh, we can even speed up this video uh, as well. We can even mute this video uh, to disable uh, this actual sound because we're not going to need it. And we can also use uh, zoom in uh, functionalities here. So we can just, for example, uh, maybe right there, or we can move it maybe right here. So whenever we open up that uh, bottom uh, sheet, right, we can also zoom in here to uh, see it even more and even better. We can click on this uh, zoom, uh, we can increase the zoom levels, like for example somewhere right here. Uh, we can even move this zoom even uh, a little bit down below. And that's how you can work uh, with your video, right? So after we select th that option for example, and after we close this bottom sheet, only then we can uh, zoom out, right? So right there. Uh, from here we can also uh, change the background of this uh, whole uh, video. We can even add only the gradient uh, colors for example. There are some more options that we can choose from here, like the actual padding. So we can reduce the padding here to maybe 1% only. There it is. Uh, we can increase or decrease the shadow. Uh, we have an option here for the sound, for the audio, for the animation and device frame as well. So in this case, I'm using a uh, black one, but we can choose even the white and other different um, colors as well. And that's basically how easy it is to animate your own uh, video. So now here we need to reduce the zoom level actually, because we have a... Uh, reduce the padding uh, of our uh, recording. There it is. So now it will look even better. As you can see, we are now uh, zooming in right there when we click on it. We are selecting those options and after we close this bottom sheet, only then we are uh, zooming out. So that's how you can create uh, the smooth um, video transitions using this uh, Screen Studio software that I have just shown you. The link of this uh, software will be down in the first uh, comment of this uh, video. By the way, after you finish uh, editing your, uh, this whole video, you can just click the export button. You can choose the resolution, the actual format, then you can choose uh, the frame rate as well. I'm keeping it uh, 60 FPS all the time. 
and there is the compression uh, that you can maybe uh, reduce to a social media because uh, you want this video to load faster uh, in your application and not to uh, waste uh, so much bandwidth while the video is being downloaded from the URL when you actually implement it in your Android Studio, right? And that's it. So that's how you can create a uh, buttery smooth uh, videos for your uh, onboarding experience. So you have now seen the whole process of uh, how I am doing it, right? So it's pretty simple and straightforward. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, drop a like to this video if you find it helpful and if you want to see me uh, sharing some more interesting uh, tips and tricks. Thank you for watching.